I'm going to be the animal I always am, the animal I always am, the animal I always am. The World Cup campaign that we've had has, has helped us grow very, very quickly. Um, but in terms of looking at the Six Nations and, and how it's going to pan out, these things mean very, 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 very little. You know, it's nothing to do with past form. It's just literally about how you start the tournament and, and the, again, the same message we've been talking about, how you prepare and how you, you turn up on the day. You know, the confidence and the positivity and the, um, the enthusiasm and also the, the, the quality of your, of your preparation up to that day. And I think ultimately the quality of the, the enjoyment of the relationships within the team and, and how everything gets on. And, and we're, you know, England, I no doubt, will be in great shape for that. But to think that teams like Wales and Ireland, just because they didn't have their greatest World Cup, won't be, yeah, would, be a, would be a big error. And I think that's an error that people have made in the past and have lived you know, to regret it. For us, we need to make a point to say that, that we have grown and, and learned and we've taken on board these lessons from the World Cup and that we want to continue the momentum for the next four or five years till the next one. The only reason I felt my pre-match rituals, if there were some, were working, were that I just bought into them so much. I, that I gained a huge amount of positive confidence from doing them. When you play by that kind of those rules, you you realise that if you're unable to go through your rituals, it gives you that kind of negative, I guess, insecurity, and and that again is all in your mind anyway. I'm going to be the animal I always am and that, that is someone that's going to try hard, I'm going to try and do things for the right reasons and I'm going to give it everything until the whistle blows.